I'm Matthew R. Miller, the horror writer. Tonight, continuing the Children of the Corn marathon. With I didn't realize there's a part five before six. Oh Lord. Okay, so Children of the Corn part five, called uh, Fields of Terror. Of all the ridiculous sequels to the original, which is a horror masterpiece, this is the best one so far. Two is horrible, ridiculous. Three, a little bit better. Four had a decent story. This one has some things going for it. You have a decent story, plot. You have some character arcs, some plot development, like the elements of a good story. It has Kane Hodder and David Carradine in it, so, you know. Um, the effects are okay for the time. Uh, 1998 was when it was made. Uh, my criticisms, the same one I always have, is that they're building this huge series on a horror classic, Children of the Corn, and it jumps the shark like all the rest. The very opening scene has a child shooting fire lasers out of his hands, basically, and levitating a man. Again, that's way over the top for Children of the Corn, which was an atmospheric cult movie in the beginning. Anyway, this is the best one so far, though. As a standalone film, this, I think, could have been okay. Not bad. Uh, but I just can't help it. I just have to accept that they've made these sequels. Uh, tomorrow will be Children of the Corn 666, Isaac's Return. And then I don't know if there's a 7. I don't remember. I'm going to have to go check it out. There's also some spinoffs and a remake that I actually like that I'll do too. But uh, yeah, Children of the Corn 5, best of the sequels so far, in my opinion. What do you think? I'm Matthew R. Miller, horror writer, and I do not walk behind the rose.